you're 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 UFC's first openly gay champion, uh, which which is really great. Were you out before you uh, fought and became champion, or or before you fought, or was it something that you you discussed publicly once you started fighting? No, actually, it's just something that I discussed when I started fighting. I know people is gonna find out. I know. And I'm okay with it. You know, I never hide for nobody. Sure. If she ask me, I tell you, I always introduce Nina, this is my girlfriend, whatever. This is not only because I'm the champion now, I want to make this big. No, this is always, always my life was no big deal. This is normal for me. I'm happy. This is the more important thing. And I want to show everybody I'm happy. And if people have to stop be so crazy about it. And that's why... Uh, it was big like that uh, when I won the fight, the kids kneeling in the cage, everything. To feel like people have to see this is normal. This is not, not um, a sickness thing. This is no, I don't do anything bad for nobody. This is my life. I'm happy. You know, I want to show everybody this is not a big deal. Right, it's just it, it's just, it has nothing to do with you as a fighter. I I think it's really great though, because uh, I think it maybe it gives other people the the kind of strength to realize like, hey, you can still be a respected fighter and a champion. Uh, if you're gay, it doesn't matter. I think it's just really great that you're uh, open about it. Yeah, the only thing is that if I can help one person to to be strong about it, in that day, see me in a kid in the cage, whatever, uh, I'm happy, you know, to help at least one person to be strong and go through this. Well, you're a great fighter, and uh, you, you really you won that uh, that belt very, very uh, decisively. You were awesome. You were really awesome. And you're a very entertaining fighter. You go out there, and there's no bullshit. You're going out there to take someone's head off or take a limb off, and that's the kind of fighting I like to watch. Uh, you're very enjoyable. Thank I you. really enjoy watching your fights. Thank you. I'm going to keep doing, keep training to always give a show for you guys and then get more excited each fight. Thank and you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Amanda. And I'm sorry Matt called you Misha. We're going to fire him for that. I'm very what? sorry. It was terrible. <laughs> uh, that's okay. No problem. All right. Take Thank care, so Amanda. Much, guys. Take Thanks care. so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, Amanda. Bye. Yeah, she's really nice. You know, what a night. Listen, I'm glad she she hung in there with yeah. us and talked to us. She was cause... wet. She was going home. I guess she was like sweaty from training. I, or maybe I think she, she was is. just giving us the blow off. And then she re she she caught the vibe. That it's a that we're a, that we're a good crowd, handsome, yeah. strong men. Yeah, well, I cool think she guys. I think she realized no. that she was talking to us, and we're not just a couple of corny fucking reporters. Like, hey, uh, how does it feel, champ? No, we're fucking we're bullshitting with her, and I think she caught the vibe of the show. And I think right now she's going on iTunes and she's going to subscribe. That's right to UFC and, and leave a comment, and probably leave a comment, hopefully favorable.